Hello and welcome everyone to some review situations. Today we're going to be checking out a product from Barbecue Dragon right up there. It's the Zephyr Fan Powered Portable Charcoal Grill. We're going to go ahead and get into this puppy. We're going to cook up some chicken. I want to let you know we freed it from its original box with the Ocaso strategy. It made quick work of it. Shipping, by the way, was no problem. Pretty fast. No problems with the box. Everything looked great. Let's go ahead and open this up. You know, fall's kind of uh, doing some fall things right now. Throwing some wind at us. Getting the leaves off the trees. But it's a nice, beautiful day. Should be perfect for grilling. Let's take that first look together here. Opening up the box. Okay. Packaging looks pretty nice so far. Right away, right off the top, we have this nice case for the barbecue dragon. Got some straps, all sorts of things on that. We'll set that aside to check that out. And then here we have the grill itself. It looks like everything is packaged nice. Look at that, the corners. All right, instruction manual maybe? Yes, indeedy. Let's get this all out of the box. All right, so took it out of the box. The barbecue dragon, as you see before you. So I wanted to show you that like packaging is like nice in multiple ways because it's like obviously in that box nice and secure, but there's not a whole lot of extra packaging. So that's cool, it's not wasteful. Looks like there's a little bit in there that we gotta take care of. I'll learn that. I like it. All right, we've got the barbecue dragon charcoal grill outside, ready for some chicken. I love this bag. This is really nice to be able to carry it and stuff. Makes it realistic to like be able to bring places i'm digging this getting some briquettes going in our little uh, chimney here as you see Alrighty, right here we've got our switch our dial turned on for the fan so we're pumping some air into the charcoal to get that even hotter and then we're going to go ahead and enclose it here i'm going to place that on Next up, we're just gonna go ahead and place the uh, grilling grate. Now we just gotta wait uh, for this to get up to temperature. So we made sure to run this grill, you know, we got it up to temperature. Right there, you can see, see that glowing, glowing red goodness right in there? That firebox, yeah. So we let it get as hot as possible for about 10 minutes, get any unpleasantness off of here from the, uh, from the assembly at the factory, you know? That's what our uh, heat temperature is looking like here. Now that we're going to be putting the chicken on, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the fan all the way off. Sizzle, sizzle. Just got a little smoked paprika and some garlic on here. So it did take, uh, I'd say right around five, maybe six minutes to heat up all the way. And then, like I said, we let it we let it go on high with that fan for another good 10 minutes, just in case there's anything on there from the factory. But now, it's chicken time. So while we got the chickies cooking, I thought I'd show you something else cool. So this is cool touch, ha ha ha. Nice segue, but uh, you can just go ahead and touch that thing. No ouchie, pretty cool. nice with like kids pets and such all right 
uh, time to check the work. Do a little flippity flip. Well, it appears to be cooking. It's looking nice. How about these ones down here? Oh yeah, we got we got some cook on there. So even right off of the main main area here, where this uh, this is at, you're still going to get a decent cook on it, as long as it's kind of on the side. Let's check this one out. Okay. Yeah, a little cook action going on as well. Look at that. We're getting some chicken cooked on the barbecue dragon. Been washing these tongs off too. Not a big fan of cross contamination. It's occurred to me that we actually have quite a lot of room up here to be doing some grilling. So again, we have the main area here in the center, but we're also going to be able to cook on the on the edge. I want to say periphery. I don't know if that's the right word or not. I'm not going to look it up. So the edge, maybe periphery. But uh, yeah, definitely a lot of grilling space. So we've got uh, over a pound of chicken on here. Yet ample space is left so like we could have plenty of room for like peppers and stuff like that i bet we could do some tortillas all sorts of stuff on there potentially possibilities are endless i think what we're going to be doing is having a um compilation video coming out so look out for that of all the yumminess we can cook on the barbecue dragon you see that red glow right there that reflection it's still got some quite some heat going to it Get right in through there. I feel like we could have definitely kept on cooking some more yummies on here. All right, gotta be honest with you, it's the next day. Um, I thought I was gonna be able to do this last night, but this stayed hot for a really, really long time. This really keeps the heat, it's amazing. So obviously we need to wash this off, but this is really cool, I wanted to point this out. Uh, what this is, is this is like a cover that keeps the grease and everything from dripping down into the firebox. So what you're doing is you're essentially eliminating your flare-ups with just that nice and easy, simple design. And again, this is like double walled, so you're not gonna get like hot by touching this, which, which again is awesome. Really, really impressed with the barbecue dragon. I mean, you saw how this thing worked for, for yourself, but let's go ahead and check this out now and do a little cleanup. So just latch on each side, lifting that grate off. We'll get that cleaned out, see how that turns out. And there's, there's the ash. And we just go ahead and just can lift that right up out of there and take care of that. Easy peasy. Let's see how um, the grill grate there, let's see if that comes clean. Let's also get a weight on this as well. So we get anything that drips inside this pan or anything like that, it just lifts right out. Just like that. This whole thing, this whole system is really easy to clean. It's going to be really, really nice for camping with the portability and just how easy you can break it down. People, let's go ahead and get a weight of the barbecue dragon. And the weight is going to be everything included in the nice little bag that it came in. Looks like we're about 12 pounds, three ounces. Look at that, right there. 12 pounds, three ounces. Journeyed back out to the garage to put away the grill grate and uh, it came quite clean. Thanks for watching people, we really appreciate it. If you're new in town, consider subscribing. Till we see you again. Keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.